on Puppet. V O N P U P P I N. That has nothing to do with Luigi Kid. Anyway, okay, wait. But the history is he thinks Luigi beats Ice Climbers 80 20, and it's Luigi Kid. It's their second to best matchup after like Bowser. Or I think that's absolutely insane and bad. But no, everyone, most people will say that it's actually insane. Wait, are they playing? Okay. Yeah, they are but either way, what, what the main thing that he says is that what the, uh, just a quote that I found hilarious from the matchup like spread was that anytime you jump with Luigi, you take the spinner from the board game light and you spin it, and whatever number you get, that corresponds to what arrow you do. You can literally just do anything you want to every time you jump at Ice Climbers. Holy moly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, it's insane. <laughs> like, okay, yeah, he definitely could have done... He, that was so oh. paired in place. That was like some dump, like some stomp knee shit. Just, <laughs> an army just wave dash into it, dude. But yeah, basically Luigi Kid, huge fan of this matchup. He thinks Luigi does very well. Um, and he really wanted to play ARMY because ARMY has been doing super well. Actually, at this tournament and uh, Wednesday Night Fights, yeah. he beat, like, he big, I think every really Irvine ranked wins. player, like, in a row, basically. Yeah. Um, oh, that up there was amazing. So basically, he was like, oh, like, I want to beat ARMY to show that, like... That Irvine's good. Right, basically. Who you guys on? You, you want to get on? If you want, go for it. Hold this on. Don't worry about it. So we actually have Luigi knowledge now. Yo, what's up? Tolka on the microphone. It's already talked about how Luigi Kid thinks that this matchup is like 80-20 in Ice Climbers. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I what are your opinions on that? That's that's because right now he's making it look not 80-20, but like he is comfortable. It's definitely not 80-20 because the the tournament results uh, definitely don't speak for that. Uh, that's accurate. Yeah, we don't see. Icy's losing to random pools Luigi's. Yeah. But, if they're uh, 20 everyone would go Luigi against Icy's. But you know, if, if Luigi Kid thinks that, that's fine. But we gotta we gotta wobble. I think we he do. I think he uh, shield eyed that in. Yeah, this might have been actually the first grab of the set. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. So okay, basically what the neutral boils down to in this matchup is um Icy's won a blizz blizz wall Luigi out. And Luigi Really needs to work around Blizzard. I mean, not really Blizzarding too much though. It's kind of going in. Right. Yeah. I was gonna say I haven't. I don't know if I've even seen one Blizzard honestly. The main thing is just that I think Luigi is just super good at killing him. Yeah. I mean, I think every character in theory, if Lu they're experienced, Luigi be especially good, though. But like. Oh. God damn. Well. Okay. Here's an interesting thing. Luigi Kid is very very fond of FD. But obviously, Ice Climbers traditionally are also very fond of FD. Do you think he'll ban FD? And if he doesn't, does I, Army go there? I think Army would totally go there. If he didn't ban it. Okay. Okay. He okay. might have banned it. Well, yeah. It's so funny thinking about. Oh, you know what? I, okay, sorry. You know what I noticed there is that in the Blizzard, um, Luigi Kid nared out of the Blizzard and got Nana with it. And now, Ices have been desync since mm -hmm. that. Is that something that was just good on Luigi Kid's part, or is that like a misspacing of the Blizzard? Uh, no it could have been either. You know, it could have been in like a. Because I know 